Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today, a little bit different today. As you can see, the sunglasses are on and it is a beautiful day. So I've decided that I wanted to go exploring just my local area or around my local, about half an hour away from where I live. And just enjoy the day really. I have got my trusty Leica ME with me, a 50 mil lens. I also have my 21 mil that I bought with me and my 135. So that'll be quite an interesting experience to see if I use that or not. So we'll go from there and see what we can take. So I found a really lovely spot on the way with this gateway. And I don't know if you can sort of see that, but across there is some nice rocks in the ocean. I'm going to maybe try and put the 135 on here and do a composition there. But also what's sort of intrigued me is this gate, is this not on this gate? So I'm going to try and focus on that as well. Maybe with the 135 just to sort of save time. Maybe do it on the 50 as well. So I've been walking around for quite a bit now since the uh, the shot with you know the bit of rope on the gate, little snail on the wood uh, on the wood there, and bits and pieces. And uh, it's a gorgeous day. And apparently we're going to somewhere, or I'm trying to get to, should I say, a place called Tregodic Beach. Now apparently the locals say it's kind of a well-known spot with locals down here at this side of Cornwall, but uh, it's sometimes a bit tricky to get to, so hopefully it's not today. And uh, take some beach photos as well, which I uh, hadn't planned on taking today. Mm. I have taken a couple of just, you know, shots here and there of bits and pieces, like a road sign and stuff, color and black and white. It was a, a red road sign, you know, against a, a very green background, just that sort of thing. Nothing too in of importance, really, but just to keep my eye in, really. But hopefully uh, you guys kind of like this new format. Hopefully as the weather is getting better, uh, I can continue to do this as well. So uh, if you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So we're getting closer to the beach, which would be quite interesting. It looks like, I think it's like a sandy beach. It's more like, you know, rocks and a cove sort of thing, but looks quite good on Google Maps. So hopefully it'll turn out to be some good photos. But on the way down this road, I just spotted, well, first I spotted the field full of bales wrapped up. It looks like silage or something like that, or hay or whatever. And uh, there was a, a trainer on the gate, which looked kind of weird. So uh, I took a photo of that as well, uh, just with those bales in the background. And then after that, I uh, took a photo of itself on portrait, which looked quite good in black and white, to be fair. Just kind of looked odd, you know, in this sort of landscape and you see those sort of things. So yeah, let's hopefully, uh, next time I speak, we'll be at the beach, I hope. <laughs> We've found the coast path, but what I'm getting <laughs> more worried about is I've been going down and down and down, and I'm going to have to climb back up this eventually after taking photos. But it is a glorious place. So this is Trigardock Beach. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And it's a bit of a trek on the north 
Cornish coast, Cornwall coast. Sorry, when I'm just watching my feet so I don't slip over because there's a river here. Um, yeah, so yeah, North Cornish coast, I believe that I can walk from here to Trebarwith Strand, uh, which would be interesting. So I might do that depending on the time, or well, that might be another video entirely. So uh, at the moment, I'm going to have to deal with walking in a farm track with basically flip-flops on with water so uh, please give this video a thumbs up because uh, I do suffer for my art <laughs> Okay, so after coming down a really steep climb, which I'm not going to enjoy on the way up, it has absolutely opened up this place and it is glorious. There is a boat around here that I have trying to take a few photos of on the 135. Um, hopefully they come out all right, done in black and white and some in colour. But the cliffs around here are just absolutely stunning. So, uh, and I can hear the ocean. The ocean is so close. So, uh, Really looking forward to that. So I've now got my 21 on to do an amazing scene. This place has been an absolute gem to do. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. So guys, so guys, I'm on the way back now. I think that jolly, I'm still not home yet. That jolly must have taken a good three hours in total to, to do, which is a lot longer than I thought it was. But on a day like today, that doesn't really bother me. I'm getting eaten alive by horse flies there. What an amazing place that is. Tregodoc Beach on the North Cornish coast absolute gem not many people there managed to get some quite nice shots of just people mulling about that know about it or the locals some of the rock formations look really nice as well so yeah i'm really pleased with that i was debating whether to actually bring my digital leica today and just bring a roll of 36 exposes bulk roll uh foam pan 400 in my nikon f5 but do you know what? I'm so glad I didn't because I, I, to be honest, I overshot it. But I walked today and I thought, oh, nice walk, why not? And I'm absolutely knackered. So when I got there, I thought, I'm never going to come down here again. Well, at least walking anyway. So I thought, while I'm here, I may as well try and take every possible shot I can. And it was beautiful. Even at the end, when I was walking back trying to catch my breath, a lifeboat came round. Don't know, probably Port Isaac one, I suppose, if there is one there. And it, ah, just glorious. Put, it came over, it was round the two on the valley there. And uh, same time, air ambulance came over as well. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. So, uh, yeah, really great today. If you liked, uh, if you like this video, 
please hit a thumbs up it really does help the channel and uh if you've enjoyed this little adventure please subscribe i'm trying to do more hopefully build up my fitness along with my photography as well anyway guys thank you all so much for the love and support that you've shown the channel really do appreciate it i'll see you on the next one cheers guys